it takes in air from the atmosphere, filters it and gives medical grade oxygen to patients. But how does it work? Let's find out. The Earth's atmosphere consists of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Therefore, for patients who need oxygen therapy, simply giving the normal air is not enough. We must filter the air and convert it into medical grade oxygen. A concentrator does exactly that. The main components of a concentrator are air filter, compressor, heat exchanger, two zeolite sieve beds, product tank and pressure regulator. First, the air filter filters out large impurities such as dust and pollen. This filtered air is passed on to the compressor. The compressor compresses those gases to high pressures. This compressed air is then sent to the heat exchanger to cool down the hot compressed air. This air reaches one of two zeolite seabeds. Zeolite is a mineral made of aluminium, silicon and oxygen and has a unique crystal lattice. Due to this structure, it is porous and has adsorptive properties because of which it acts as a molecular sieve. Thus, molecules of nitrogen get stuck to its surface where oxygen molecules pass right through them as they are smaller in size. At this stage, we have successfully extracted pure oxygen. This oxygen is then sent to the product tank and then to the pressure regulator where the pressure and flow of oxygen can be regulated. However, there is still one problem. Eventually, nitrogen clogs up seabed A, reducing its performance. So the valve on A closes and the normal air is sent instead to seabed B to be converted to pure oxygen. And some pure oxygen from it is sent backwards to A to clean it. Thus, a patient can receive continuous flow of medical grade oxygen till the power is provided to the concentrator. Now we know the detailed inner workings of the concentrator.